All right, uh, Shalom. Before I start, we give our praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, Bashem, or Chachrash, that honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone, peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim, Wachwatim, learning, teaching, and truth and sincerity. All right, this is going to be another uh, video uh, through the Spirit. All right, and uh, I'm going to have the picture up so y'all can see it. <clears throat> Let me see, I'm going to get this first one ready. All right, so. Uh, all right, because uh, basically I camped today, and I, you'll I'll have the picture of the whole video, but you can't t tell, uh, because I was standing behind him, but you had you know both sides of the line, the brothers on the other side of the sign, and then us brothers, you know, uh, behind the sign, you know, holding the post, and then you had this devil, he came in off to our left, and got real close. All right, if the camera angle was on everyone else, you could actually see how close he was to us, and he basically was just standing there. With his back turned to us, you know, as if he was, you know, safeguard, safeguarding the public from us or standing, you know, he was basically standing there as if he was going to, you know, protect us uh, or protect, keep us from doing anything to people, you know, in like some sort of uh, police-like man uh, manner. All right, he had both his earphones in. And then, you know, eventually, the deeper we got into the scriptures, it was probably cutting him to heart. So he got up out of there. All right, and so the point of this video, hey, after that situation that happened over there in Jersey, this truth is uh, has these devils shook. All right, these devils are getting shook. They're getting scared now. All right, he went. He probably seen what happened in the news, and he saw us, you know, associating us with that, and he comes to stand up. You know, well they'll, they'll, you know, I'm ready. I'll call the police. I'll sacrifice. I'll keep the public safe. Hey, man, these devils are already in fear. All right. Why? Because we we have regained the knowledge of who we are, all right? And with that knowledge, we are turning back to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, and these people know that <clears throat> something major in this world is about to happen, all right? Whether they realize it realize it consciously or uh, subconsciously, all right? Because the Heavenly Father is rising up the spirits, all right? And it has these devils on edge. That's why he was standing there, you know, looking like he was going to... Uh, <laughs> Save the day, you know, Revelation, uh, this is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of that, of the great city, all right? Which here today, are we were spiritually dead in America, all right? And throughout all the places where we were scattered, but a big uh, group of our people being here in the Americas, all right? We, we, we were dead here, not knowing who we were, all right? Without the knowledge of... Of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says, uh, let me see, let me see. Yep, okay, uh, which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, and where also our Lord was crucified. Alright, this place is called Sodom <clears throat> because of its homosexual ways, alright, and Egypt because of its bondage over the nation of Israel. It says, and they of the and they of the people and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies. Three days and a half, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. All right, that's dealing with uh, a certain amount of years. All right, the three days and a half, and what does it say? Uh, and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. So basically, they didn't want to teach us who we were. All right, they they tried to keep us slaves for as long as they could. Then they changed our name to Negroes, colored Mexicans, El Salvadorians, Hondurans. They tried to keep us from knowing. Who we are for such a long time. It says, And they that dwelt upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another, because these two prophets tormented them that dwelt on the earth. Alright, so they were happy to see us in a downtrodden position. Alright, but what happens? Verse 11. <clears throat> and after three days and a half, the spirit of life from the Most High Power entered into them, and they stood upon their feet, and great fear fell upon them which saw them, all right, and that's what's happening, great fear is falling upon these Edomites, these devils that are seeing us, that's why in all day of camp today, people was taking hella pictures, people was hella pointing, you know, way more than the usual, why, because everyone's seen what had happened in the news, so now they're starting to get uh, frightful, you know, which is only going to increase the, the closer we are to us getting out of here, all right, and when the elect <clears throat> get endowed with the power when Yahweh Shai comes down here, they're really going to be horrified. You, these heathens are already starting to get scared. You know, they see us, 
you know, men of stature and valor spiritually, all right, we don't have any accolades in the world, all right, but all through the spirit and through this prophecy, raising up our, our voices as, as a trumpet, all right, you had a, a today as well, a, a, a lady, you know, she was pointing, the brother had pointed us out, she was pointing at us, making fun of us, scoffing at us, walking past, and there was a bag that had fell down on the floor, so the one brother, he completely didn't even see her, she's behind him, he bent over to pick it up, and she fucking jumped and flinched. She leaped backwards and flinched, and that smirk and laugh got completely wiped off her face, and it turned to uh, on-site terror, and she hurried up and, you know, clung on to her dude, and they skedaddled down the street. You know, he was completely unaware of their existence, all right? Hey, these, they, they're getting, Esau knows that he has a short time, all right, and so he's coming down with great wrath, but he's also scared, all right? If you were about to lose your life, not only are you fighting hard, but you're fighting hard out of fear. And that's Esau, all right? You trap a dog in the corner, he's going to be going, <laughs> he's going to go hard at you because he's scared for his life. And that's these devils. That's why the police say what they say. What? what, what? I was I was in fear for my life. I was, I was, I was going to shoot me. I was in fear for my life. You know, all that bullshit they like to say. All right, this is, uh, let me see. This is... Salak, so uh, Ezekiel, hang on, and all right, uh, Salak, so this is, uh, <clears throat> let me start, Salak, so yeah, let me see, let me see, okay, Khan, this is, uh, Ezekiel 37 and 9, it says, then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, power, come from the four winds, and breathe, uh, uh, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood upon their feet an exceeding great army. All right, and that's going to be the elect and the one third that wake up to who they are. All right, and come back to who they are, which is completely. Uh, let me let me get this. It's completely. It's horrifying, Esau. All right, they spent. Billions, if not trillions of dollars, all right, they've lied, they've killed, they've murdered, they've stolen to try to uh, keep hidden to us who we are. But we've gotten it back. The Heavenly Father has graced us with who we are again. And it's completely, it's completely horrifying these devils, all right, to the point to where now they're going to end up moving on us. Now they're, they're looking, they, they look and they scoping, you know, if they wasn't checking our text messages, text messages, they're checking them now, all right? They're watching us on the cameras, all right? Esau is actually scared now because he knows, hey, this is just one step closer to the end, all right? So, 30 and 3, it says, He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. All right, and us, you know, what does the scriptures say? Uh, uh, oh, shoot. Uh, uh, was it like, uh, basically... Uh, you have the saying in the world, each one teach one. Us, the Israelites, continuously spreading this word, going out on the highways and byways, we're preparing ourselves mentally against these devils. So it's hurting Esau. It's hurting his pockets. All right. It's hurting his reputation because now you have all these random people who've never met each other, but they're all getting up and putting up information online about the things that this country has done. All right. It's messing up and it's skewing the image of these devils in the sight. Of these other nations, all right? And so now we're making Esau look bad and we're scaring him to his core because we're, we are reminding him of the fact of this. And I'll end it on this, all right? This is why he's scared of it. This is why he wants to, this is why uh, monitor, monitoring uh, of us is going to pick up. You're probably going to start seeing vans parked outside camp now, all right? You're going to start seeing, uh, you're going to check your Wi Fi. It's going to say <laughs> FBI, uh, 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 FBI agency, you know, these devils, because, a hey, all of us doing this work, it's starting to remind these devils about the end game. this right here, 2nd Edger 6, verse uh, 8, 2nd Edger chapter 6, verse 8, and he said unto me, from Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. The hand of man is betwixt the hill and the hand. Uh, other question, Edris, ask thou not. 
So Esau, so like Esau is being reminded that he, it says what in verse 9, is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. These devils are falling and Jacob is rising and is putting terror on these devils. They're not going to be able to ride in their Mercedes and Maseratis anymore. They're not going to be able to uh, be born into wealth and be able to go on a vacation two times every single freaking year while the average Jake has never left their zip code. All right. All these things are pouring into these devils' minds. Oh, shit. What if they're right? Oh, man. Oh, man. You know, they got to, uh, Esau, he got to wake up and he, you know, he's, her daughter, he's, his daughter come to the house and she got a, 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 a young Jake as her man now. You know, we're just, hey, Esau is losing every grip. Every single finger threshold that he has on this world. And it's scaring him to his core. And that's why he's going to try to do to us here soon what he's going to do. Right? He's going to be unsuccessful. Because we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna win this time. All right? So with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Rechach Rash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Grand Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to all the elect Akim. Wa uh, uh Learning, teaching, and truth in the sincerity. Alright, with that I'm gonna say Shalom.